Let's get to the Sixers edition. Mr. Quinones. Yes. Bring him in. That is a bell ring. That right is a there. bell ring. Just for the name. Two way contract, man. He played for the Golden State Warriors, Kyle. Uh, how many games did he play a season ago? 37 games last year, just four uh, the season prior. But main skill can shoot, shoot the ball. Shoot the rock. And he's got a decent physical skill skill package, right? I think six he's six five. Or, oh, I say skill package. He's got decent physical tools. Six four six five. Six four six five. He's like two ten, so decent frame. And really, that's all the sales pitch needs to be, right? You get a guy who is a proven NBA shooter, shot well in college, came to the league. That's his reputation. I think from talking to some Warriors people that I know, last year they were happy with the steps forward he took defensively and mm-hmm. you know play to play effort commitment noted as like a good energy guy on yep. the bench so like someone who's just like if he Devon and I I were talking before the show yes. about uh, yeah. who might be the brick and for chicken captain this year like Robert Covington used to be the frosty freeze out guy I think if Quinones is on the team long term he's a a good candidate to be the guy who's like really I have waving candidate towels. Too. And I have so candidate. I like having guys who are like that on the, at the end of the bench. You do need that sort of energy from your your people who aren't playing, but have them engaged in the game. You can bring the others other guys up. Turk, even was, if Turk and Ricky were good with yes. with Cove last year. With and that. I think guys increasingly understand like. If you're on the bench and you're not playing, that is your way to make a positive impression on the other mm-hmm. guys. And those little things can be the separation between if you have similar production to another fringe roster player, but that other fringe guy is number one teammate, the guy who celebrates all your successes, that matters. And so I think that helps him a little bit in terms of sticking around. As long as he shoots the ball, though. He should be able to get a little bit of time this year. And I do think when I watched him, I feel like I watched him more in summer league setting than when he played last year for Golden State. There is a little more to his game than shooting. Like you're seeing more of can attack a closeout, get to the rim. I've seen him finish with both hands successfully. Always a good thing. He can hit that little stop and pop like free throw line-ish jumper if somebody closes out hard on him. So there are some other skills that he has. And, you know, we'll see. He's, what, like 23? So he's got Mm -hmm. some room to grow. And hopefully – I think the the thing I like compared to the other guys, he's got a realized skill set, and it's different than Jeff Doughton. It's different than Justin Edwards. We'll see if any of them can emerge as, like, a real roster player. As a result, they had to make a move that you uh, put out on Twitter. David Jones was the guy waived of the other two-way guys. So I think that was – to me, is the right move because I was probably most skeptical of his skill set at his size and like the scoring though. That's you do like the fun. scoring, and I thought he rebounded well. Yes. in when we saw him in summer league for his position, but didn't ultimately show enough to to hold on to him as one of their two way guys. Yeah, I'd probably argue I would have let go of Edwards first. Uh, I just don't necessarily believe in Edwards as an NBA prospect. Uh, he was certainly high re- highly rated uh, coming out of high school. I think because of that, he gets a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. He certainly has his size to do so. Uh, he's made shots. We will see if he can put everything together. But I think there is an argument uh, between those two. Certainly, uh, I think it would have come down to those two, though. Um, you weren't probably going to let go of Doughton just because he's no. a guy who can step in and give you minutes in a pinch if you need it. He was the only one of those three. Now, four if we include Quinones in here, uh, I but yeah, I think I think there's an argument uh, with Edwards being the guy. But you know, in terms of Lester, I think Kyle pretty much hit it. Like he has good size, six five, and and we're talking like a six eleven, six ten, six eleven wingspan. So he has the physical tools. I thought his engagement defensively was pretty good. Yeah, uh, the shot he now has a three or four year stretch where he's made them not at an elite level, but certainly at a, a good enough level to space the floor. And the question is, can he put a little more together in terms of his handle and being able to create a little bit more? You're certainly not going to ask him to create as a primary guy in the NBA, uh, but can he create a little bit more out of secondary catch-and-go type actions? And uh, if he can do that, then I think he has a chance to make a roster. And if not, then you put him in the G League and see if he can continue to grow. Yep, light up the G League with the blue coats and bring him up. Call him up if you need an extra guy who can shoot the ball. I will say, we we can debate Jones or Edwards. I like 
Lester more than either of them, I think. I, I would agree. And I think it probably says something about where they're at as an organization, where philosophically they said, you know, rather than a guy in Jones who maybe you like, but is further away, they just said, we'll take a guy who's more in that Doughton type of category of right. we believe he can play right now. And so if you do need fill in players to like mm-hmm. use the NBA side of a two way contract, Quinones is better positioned than Jones and certainly than Edwards, but you keep one of those more developmental prospect type of guys on the two ways. The other ones are more, these are fill in players. Yeah. These are guys we feel comfortable with right now. And I think that's a defensible decision. And I guess if you're going to make the case for Edwards, you've now got two sort of like four, a guys in Doughton and Quinones. Maybe Edwards, you take the physical tools, see if you can turn them into yeah. the prospect. A lot of people expect to come out of high school. That's why I do like the fact that they now give you three. In the past, they only gave you two slots. Yes. Up that to three in the latest CBA, and I think that's a good thing. Anytime you can get more players in the you know in the in the program, so to speak, to steal a, a hockey term, I think it's a uh, it's it's good. Yeah. And Winona says, so which man is he off the bench? As the guy says, he's one of the last. We'll probably ones. start. Oh, he's gonna start <laughs> in G League in in Denver. Yeah, <laughs> or in Delaware. In Delaware. Denver. Jesus. In Denver. Denver. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> he's got a, He's got a long way that, to go, that man. Is. <laughs> 